Welcome to CAT Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be covering practice problem 9.2. So given these two sinusoids, we are asked to find the phase angle between them. And we are also asked if I1 leads or lags I2. So I'll show you two ways to tackle such a question. And the first way is to use the diagram which is suggested in the textbook. So here you have your cos wt, here you have your sine wt, here you're going to have your negative cos wt, and here you have your negative sine wt. Now, if you look at the amplitude or if you look at the number which comes before the sinusoid, this one, it's negative, and therefore we go to the negative sine line and then we look at the angle and positive angles as you know go in the anti-clockwise direction and so this 25 degrees is going to be measured from this negative side uh, not really taking into consideration this amplitude or the sign of this value just look at the sign if it's negative go to the negative sign so this is where we are and we're gonna make we're gonna measure 25 degrees now, looking at the second one, it's 5, which is positive 5, and it's a cosine. So, we're going to go to the positive cosine, which is over here, and measure negative 40. This is negative, so it goes in the clockwise direction, which is this direction. And therefore, we're going to measure 40 degrees. I haven't drawn these to scale. I'm just showing you how to draw this diagram. And now, as you know, this is uh, these two are perpendicular, which means this is 90. So, to answer the first question, which says, find the phase angle between the two. Now you have, this is your I1, and this is your I2. Now you're interested in, in this angle, right? So adding everything up should give you the phase angle between the two, and you're going to get 40 plus 90 plus 25. So it's 40 plus 90 plus 25. So 40 plus 90 plus 25 should be the difference in the phase angles. So let's write diff just to say difference. So diff is equals to 40 plus 90 is 130 added to 25, 155, 155 degrees. So this is your answer to the first question. And the second question says, does I1 lead or lag I2? So to answer this, you start at the at this point and you go around this diagram and the first line which you encounter is the one which leads. So as we go around in the anti-clockwise direction, you see that we encounter I1 first, which means I1 leads I2. Now, coming back to the second method of finding the phase angle between the two, the second method would be to transform both of these into positive cosines. So, to transform this negative uh, four sine into a positive cosine, this is what you basically do. It's going to be four cos uh, 377 t plus 25, then say plus 90 degrees. So the resulting phase here is going to be, you're going to have four cos 377 t plus uh, 115. Now here's what you're going to do. Now that we already know that I1 actually leads, now you're going to find the actual difference between the two phases. So now I have 115 once this is co converted into a positive sign, and here we have negative 40. So what you're going to say is 115 degrees subtract negative 40, and this will give you 155 degrees, which is the exact same answer as the one which we got using this diagram. So now it's up to you which method you're going to use. You can either use this diagram over here, to find the phase angle between the two, or you can use this conversion and subtract the angles. 